If you have found up newly launched OS in a new world of Deepin 23 Alpha is waiting for you, which was developed by Deepin community from China. Before starting, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe the channel. Actually, Deepin 23 Alpha is a second version of Deepin 23 that was earlier released. Deepin 23 Alpha comes with new flow design concept and presents with a fashion UI. This version comes with many bug fixes and added some pre installed applications that helps look beautiful and awesome to run this OS smoothly. Yep, the very first changes is the installation screen. The installation page is updated and has a dark blue background, offering a fresh and beautiful look. And next, the custom installation screen has also been updated. Here you can find the full installation disk. If you go to full installation disk, then you will find this type of user interface. And if you want to install full disk, then you have to select your drive and then click on next. Installation will be started. If you want to make a dual boot or custom, then you have to click on custom. And custom UI has also been updated. You can check here. And the same, the advanced option has also been been updated the advanced option you can call also the advanced option as a custom that means dual boot when the OS is booted the very first login screen you will see on a deep on a deep blue background on the top of the screen you will find time date and day then on the middle of the screen you will find your computer name computer logo and the login screen then here on the left side you will find dip in 23 community is typed here then you will find the network option and the keyboard option and here the power option if you click on power then you will find shutdown and reboot option if you click outside of the screen then it will be as normal just you have to put your computer password and just click here and your pc will be booted now on the very first screen you will find the application launcher and then show or hide desktop option and then you will find the multitasking view option then mail and then file manager then application store the settings and then the recycle bin here is the notification pop-up panel basically here you will find whatever application you will open here the application will be notified and it is the on screen keyboard and the network itself here is the screenshot taking shortcut and and here is the notification panel in the notification panel you will find the network conditions search option system monitor the on-screen keyboard screen capture and the sound increase and decrease option and light increase and decrease option again on the screen is the power option if you click on this power option you will find set down reboot lock and log out option in application launcher you will find all the application whatever you need if you scroll from right to left then you will find the another application which was high right side of the desktop if you scroll again to the left side then you will find the another application here you will find so many applications browsers file manager applications to music movie screen capture image viewer if you want to make any bootable pen drive for your windows or linux then you can easily make from here this is device manager if you if you have downloaded any linux application then you can simply install with the help of the package installer here you will find disk utility game backup and restore restore application and finally the libre office for official purpose and students the most important application here is a music application the most important application of this operating system if you want to play any music then this application gonna help you in music application so many bug fixes has been done on this version and here the album artist and so all songs my favorite songs these options are included with the music library here you can add music by clicking add music from here and here you can add music by selecting the music and then open here you will find many options that like add playlist to add music equal as a settings theme and help about quit then here is the maximize button then here is the close button if you click here you will find a customize button to select music by date title artist and albums so many options are added here on the top of the application you will find a search bar if you want to search any music which you are not able to find then you can find it by its name itself and you can find here a clear enhanced and buttery look of the music player itself another most important application that is inbuilt in windows but now this time it is also included in linux operating system that is step in 23 alpha if you want to make a backup of your operating system and data this application is gonna help you you can find a system backup system backup basically helps you to take a backup of your operating system and data backup helps you to take a backup of your data that is stored on your pc then here in restore option you can find system restore data restore and restore from initial backup these three options are there if you want to make a system backup or data backup then this application gonna help you a lot lot with another application image viewer image viewer also has been updated and so many bug fixes has been done on this application if you want to open any image then you can open here and select the image the image will be open here and so many options it is 
is the previous button and this forward button and this is the full screen full screen option and this is rotated option and this is extract the text if you have any text on this image you can extract from here this is basically ai based application and there is the delete button if you want to record or make a screenshot of this operating system then you have to click here or else and keyboard you can click ctrl alt plus a if you click here a small notification is here you have to select from there to enter the screen and then leave the mouse here a pop-up will come here a pop-up will come in front of you then if you go to settings you will find so many options that is a folder where wherever the picture will be saved and the picture format so many things then here you will find ok option if you click on ok it will ask wherever you want to save the screenshot then click on save and it will be saved and it will also ask if you want to view or open folder you can easily open the folder or open the image if you want to make a screen recorder then you have to click here a second time and then here you will find a recorder option you'll have to click a record and you can move the area and you can also increase the area by clicking here and drag to the end of the screen then you have to click on ok and it will start timer and the recording has been started a notification pop-up will show here and if you want to stop you just have to click here and the screen recorder is stopped you will also find on folder it is a video and if you want to play just double tap on this video and it will play on a default video player you can find it now let's come to the point if you right click on the desktop then you will find so many options new folder new document auto arrange and then organize desktop desktop options display settings if you go to display settings then you will find display settings so wherever the other display orientation will be the option and this is the brightness option you can decrease or increase the brightness and here is the resolution you can minimize or maximize the resolution here is the refresh rate here the rotation always need to be on standards then in default application settings you will find if you want a mail to open with the mail then you have to select mail the text for uh, for text files you can select LibreOffice or text editor the music files there is only one application that is music video file that is album or movie application then picture opening application basically there are three applications to open pictures so that is album drawer image viewer terminal terminal is only one application and then in personalization you will find the theme here is the basically theme if you click here then the theme will the theme will change wholly with the wallpaper you can find this and from here you can choose accent color and here you can choose the icon theme yes so many icon themes whichever you like you can select and then click on save and it will be changed as you like and here is the cursor theme if you want to change your cursor then you can change from here yes so many options you can pick up with whichever you want then here in appearance you can find auto or dark but from this you will find network option notification date time sound mouse option power button so many things and update also is here if you go to update settings then you will find so many options to customize your update then in system info you will find your operating system version your pc name you can customize also your pc name then kernel then memory if you just click here uh, go to shutdown the shutdown screen will just like this if this video was helpful to you then please hit like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends we will meet on another day on another topic till then take care